Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because we had a lot of requests from our members to include paint swatches on their spec sheets. And I'm really happy to say that that functionality is now available. So if you missed it and you just want to see exactly how to add those paint swatches, keep watching and I'll show you how to do that within this video. We'll use this project as an example. And let's say I want to create a spec sheet for this particular project. I'm just going to go to the project nav, click on spec sheets, and in the top right hand corner, we're going to click this button right here to create a new spec sheet. Now, when I do that, it'll bring me into the spec sheet template where we can see the client's name has been pulled in. We've got the ID for the spec sheet. Um, if you're preparing this for a contractor, you can put in your contractor's name. And over here, you've got your client's contact information. Now down here, you can choose to add a design board to your spec sheet. So if you think it's going to be helpful to include a uh, a 3D floor plan image, a mood board, anything like that. When you click this link, all the design boards that you've created for this project will show up and you can select the ones that you want to include in your spec sheet. If you don't want to include any design boards, that's fine. You can just choose to leave them out. And down here, this is where you're going to see that you can add products, you can add manual line items, and you can also now add paint swatches. But before we add any items to this spec sheet, the first thing I want to do is just show you that you do have the option to configure your spec sheet to show the specific columns that you want or the specific details that you want, I should say. So here you've got all of these individual fields that you can choose to include. You can ignore these two down here for now. We are in the process of building in the ability for you to add custom fields. It's not available within your account just yet, but I'll be sure to let you know when it is. So for now, you can choose to hide or show any of these details. If you're just creating a spec sheet that is specifically for paint swatches, you might choose to exclude a few columns. Um, it's completely up to you. So I'm just going to configure this based on what I'm going to need for this particular video and we'll save the changes. And now that I have the columns that I want here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start adding in my paint swatches. So we'll click this button. It's going to open up this panel where I can see all the paint swatches that I used for any design boards within this project. If I want to add all of them, click the checkbox up here. It'll select all of them and you can add them all to your spec sheet. If you only want to include a couple, click the check boxes directly next to the specific paint colors. I'm going to go ahead and add all of them though. So let's do that. And now that I've added them, you can see we've got a small image of the paint uh, color. You've got the name, you've got the vendor, the source link and quantity over here. And then you can start adding in additional details. So let's say that we want to include the finish type. So we'll do eggshell for these ones and maybe I'll do satin here. And then you also have the ability to indicate where you want this paint to be added. So let's say we're going to do living room walls. Uh, we'll do trim here and I don't know. Well, let's say we're just going to do ceiling. It just gives you the ability to just kind of be really specific about where you want uh, these paints to be added so that if you are handing this off to somebody else, um, they're going to know exactly where to do it. Uh, we'll just call this the built in cabinet. Okay. Here we could also include the size of the paint can that we're going to need. So let's just say we're going to do gallons for all of these and I'm going to increase the quantity here for a couple of these so that um, we've got enough paint for the entire space. Once you've filled in all your details, you do have the ability to include any additional uh, items that you want. So just click this button right here to add a line item. And again, you can select products. You can add manual line items. Or if you didn't include a specific paint swatch, you can go ahead and add another one. You can also add additional notes to the spec sheet. You can add any extra attachments if you like. And if you're happy, you can go ahead and save it as a draft and preview it. And this is what it's going to look like when you add a paint swatch to your spec sheet. So you've got all the necessary details here uh, for each and every one of them. And if you are passing this over to a contractor, um, when you, when you email them this particular document, they always have the ability to download the spec sheet as well so they can bring it with them. Okay. I think that about covers it. So yeah, if you are creating a lot of spec sheets and you really want the ability to include your paint options as well, you now have that functionality available to you. Be sure to jump into your accounts and test it out. If you have any questions at all, just reach out to us on the live chat. We are always happy to help. And like I said, 
Keep your eyes open because we are going to be adding in the ability for you to include custom fields within your spec sheets. So keep your eyes on your inbox and I'll be sure to create a whole new video and an email that will let you know when that functionality is available. Thanks so much for watching.